This course will introduce processes found in service transition, service operation, and CSI. We'll briefly review the purpose of each life cycle phase and then review the processes. We will, be, we will build an understanding of the purpose, objectives, and scope for each process. Within ITIL, there are four processes that are considered to be highly important or major, if you will. For these processes, we will also elaborate on additional process aspects such as basic concepts, process activities, and process interfaces. First, we'll take a look at the service transition processes. We will cover transition planning and support, which provides oversight throughout the phase. We will review service asset and configuration management, ensuring the continuity of all service assets and configuration items. We'll then move to change management, which is another major process that manages and authorizes change throughout the life of the change. Release and deployment management builds, tests, and deploys releases into the appropriate environments. Knowledge management builds and maintains organizational knowledge. From there, we will move to the service operation processes. These processes include event management to manage all events through their life cycle, incident management, another major process that manages incidents to minimize the impact to both the business and the customer. And the last major process is problem management, a major process which provides a means to proactively manage pro problems. Request fulfillment is the last of the operation processes. And this process, oh, I gotta go back. Request fulfillment is responsible for managing the life cycle of all service requests. And the last process within service operation is access management, which provides customers and users the appropriate rights to access services. In closing our process review, we will go over the CSI process, which is the seven-step improvement process. This process defines and manages the steps to require. This process defines and manages the steps required to identify and implement improvements. Our final session will cover functions. We will take time to build an understanding of the term function and the four functions defined in ITIL. Within service operation, there are four main functions. Service desk, technical management, IT operation management, and application management. We will review these functions in detail and understand how those functions fit within the life cycle and the processes of the life cycle.